God is with you. Would you repeat after me? Mungu Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. That means know that God is good. It goes like this. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Try that. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Online. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Anybody online want to try a verse? Anybody want to unmute and sing a verse of that? No? Jill? Everybody just got shy. All right. Keep singing with us. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Mungu Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Nimwe Ma. Now it's the end of the term and we're all a little weary, right? So it might help us if we could uh, engage our bodies as we sang this song a little bit. So just try with me. I invite you to stand in body or in spirit. Whether you are able to, whether you are sitting down or standing up, I invite you to move a little bit in your seat or move your hips. See if we can move as we're singing. Try it. Mungu nimwe ma. Mungu nimwe ma. Mungu nimwe ma. Nimwe ma. Nimwe ma. Mungu. everybody. I will be praying uh, on this morning and um, I will be praying according to my uh, Christian faith and you guys are um, and ladies welcome to join in um, according to your faith. If you will just stand. Let's loosen up a little bit. Amen. God we just thank you for this day and we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise for all that you have done. Thank you um, for this day, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And God, we thank you for your presence and for your power. Thank you for raining down on us. And we thank you for this semester, oh God. We thank you for our time at the seminary. We thank you, God, for our colleagues and all of the people that we have encountered. We thank you for this journey. We thank you, God, for all forms of intersectionality that will lead us further into our cause. 
Let your spirit guide us. Let your spirit rest upon us. Guide us by your power and by your glory in the name of Jesus. Let your blood cover us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And Father, thank you for creating us clean hearts and renewing the right spirit in us. We thank you for this experience. Thank you for all of the staff, the administration. Thank you, God, for every professor and every student in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the word that's going to come forth. Let it fall on good ground. Let it bring forth a harvest that shall remain. We give you praise for everything that you have done. We cannot say thank you enough. It's by your grace, by your goodness, by your mercy that we are here today. We glorify you. We thank you. And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Amen. A reading from the third chapter of Ecclesiastes, in which the author affirms God's care for the seasons of our lives. For everything, there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. Hashem, the name, has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, Hashem has put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. I know that whatever God does endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor nothing, anything taken from it. God has done this so that all should stand in awe before the divine. That which is already has been, that which is to be already is, and God seeks out what has gone by. Hear what the spirit is saying to the church, let us all with unmuted voices say, thanks be to God. Thanks, thanks, to God. God. thanks be to God. Amen. Please pray with me for just a moment. O oh, Holy One, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, my God, my rock, and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. The late Minjun theologian, Kim Yongbok, used to say, there are four kinds of time, natural time, the time of the seasons, chronos time, the time of the clock, cyber time, 
the time of the internet. I remember when I was a lecturer at Cambridge and I had to lecture, but I had to communicate with people from San Francisco to Hong Kong. So I had to find a sweet spot before my friends in China fell asleep and by the time my friends in America woke up. That was cyber time. And there's a fourth time. It's called Kairos time, divine time. Kronos time is the time we live in, the time of the clock. Be at chapel at 11.40, according to your watch. And if you're doing it with someone else, make sure they know it's central time and not eastern time. Cyber time is an expansive chronos time intensified. <laughs> there is no time to sleep. You work at all hours, President Krauss. <laughs> Right? But I want to tell you something. Remember, Kronos eats its young. <laughs> Those of us who live in Kronos time get eaten by time. And as we go into cyber time, we just get eaten faster. Kairos time is about wellness and not your wellness or my wellness or my rights and my privileges. It's about the wellness of the whole, of the, of the complete cosmos. The end of the season of this season is a time of reflection. We're ending a Kronos time. We're also ending a Kairos time. For those of you who have stayed with us a while, for about three years, some of you two, some of you a little longer. I don't think we have anyone who's a little shorter, but <laughs> I'm just saying. We've been through a lot in this Kairos, Kronos, cyber time. In the last three years, we flipped from residential to isolation on Zoom, and then slowly into a more hyphenated space and time. We have been together physically and learned how to be together apart. We are learning to imagine together in Kairos space differently. Convince that even safety may not mean wholeness. We're called to a different imagination, not to be safe, but to be whole. And is that is not the time just past or long past or what we even imagine to come. How do we find Kairos time? In Kronos time, even cyber time. Let's look at the text. The first part of the text is about seasons. There's a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, to pl a time to pick up what is planted, a time to kill and heal, to break down, build up, mourn, dance. Powerful, interesting, but problematic. You are either doing one or the other. The truth is, seasons are not binary. 
If anyone noticed that on, win uh, on Friday you were living in winter, today we're living in the middle of summer, you know, and they told me, according to the Kronos plot, we've passed spring solstice, so we should be in spring. I missed spring somewhere along the night. Maybe I was taking a shower while it was happening. I don't know. Seasons are not binary. Seasons are not linear. They are natural. And nature is closer to Kairos than Kronos or Cyber. Seasons are like symbols. Charles Long, in his book, Signification, says, a symbol express the imaginative experience through which new forms of the world is discovered by human consciousness. In this experience, the subject and the object are, in, are in, inextricably interwoven and they, become, and they seem to be identical. Seasons are part of natural time. Seasons blur one with another, holds on to the past and looks to the future while residing in the present. Right. Old wisdom, new awareness. Mm -hmm. The Farsi mystic and poet Khalil Gibran says, if you in your thought, if in your thought you measure time in seasons, let each season encircle all the other seasons. The second part of the, the text talks about Kairos time. Let me say again. Natural time is most like Kairos time. It's the least likely to eat its young. He has made everything suitable for the time. She has put a sense of past and future into their mind. The illusion of our clocks and our timetables and when we're going to be out of the pandemic, when we started it, when we're doing it, is it makes an illusion of order. Nicole will let you know I'm the chaos professor. I don't believe in order. The only reason I believe in order is I'm supposed to be a Presbyterian. But even that's false. I'm not a real Presbyterian. Look at me. Do I look like a Presbyterian to you? Do I even look like a Christian to you half the time? Order is comforting. Order makes sense. Creation makes order and it kills us. If we become enslaved to this illusion, we lose sense of Kairos time. We become fragile and we break. The text says, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Because God doesn't start in the beginning and God doesn't end at the end. God starts everywhere and goes to everywhere. It's no longer linear. It's no longer binary. It's expansive. Remember, as we make sense of time, it is Kronos time that allows us to be whole. Holy who we are. 
because it's God's time. And those of you who've rested with us a while, you came before you came in Kronos time. And when you leave, we go with you. We stay with each other because we as creations of God live, not make sense, not make order, make, make logic. We live in Kronos time. Thank you for abiding with us a while. Amen. <laughs>
You're on. And now, may the God that created you redeems and sustains you, hold you close to her heart this day and every day until we all meet in Kairos time. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, if I can ask our illustrious president to come forward. Mm -hmm. That was fun.